welcome back to the Dutch Jet Builds uh, episode on Daily Rider. Waiting on stuff for uh, cleaning the carb, special fluid to use with that. In the meantime, I'm just gonna do um, yeah, small things that I could do. So that would be like uh, replacing the cool coolant on this uh, Honda. Yeah, but first off, uh, let's start with the coolant and maybe, well, kind of start painting some things just because I have the time for it. So yeah. Let's do that. So to get to the uh, the radiator and the uh, the plug, the, the draining plug that's underneath here, I have to remove the tank, which I already have, so that's convenient, and uh, the seat as well. Um, so I'm gonna take off this small protection plate and probably the outside of this thing as well. And so I can access the, uh, the tap over here. Now the reservoir is over here. I won't be able to take that out. That will basically only come out when you've got the engine off. So that's a bit a step too far. Um, Okay, so that is the radiator without all the side covers. And as you can see, all these little fins, they've had like a, a rock or something hit it. So I'm just gonna easily bend these back. They're really fragile, so you don't need any force. Now obviously there's a lot of dirt. So I'm just gonna take off the dirt and then I'm gonna and if you can see it on the video, yeah, you can. Over here is the plug. I'm gonna take that out and then we'll drain everything that's inside here. So I want to drain the reservoir as well. So I've got this uh, syringe with a bit of tubing. Just gonna cut that. This is the, uh, the coolant thing protector that came off it. As you can see, it is pretty rough. It's got this plastic cover, which is intact actually. And the inside is really rusty. So is the top. And it looks like really bad. It's intact rather than wise, so it needs to paint you up. But then I looked in my little stockpile. And I found this. This is the one I already did for that Honda. I've already sandblasted this and given it a primer. And this is the chrome uh, plate that came with that bike. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to swap this over. So put the original plastic one that came with that one, put it back in. I'm just going to keep this for a while and see what I'm going to do with it. I may put it on that one. Um, I'm not sure if Chrome is the look for what I'm going with that. So in the end, I may swap it out, but for 
now I'm going to take this off, going to swap these ugly screws with the ones on that one. And this one had some really nice stainless steel nuts instead of these rusty ones that came with the daily rider. So I'm going to switch those out with those. The only thing is that this is what came off the daily rider over there. And this is how the ones look from the uh, the other Honda. So these do look better, the, the ones on the right. But I'm not sure how I'm going to compare that with this. So either I paint them all or I don't. Or maybe I'm just going to go with black. Let's make this entire thing black. Same as that. And think it'll blend in better. And I'm, I'm going to keep this as is. I'm going to polish this because this is really good nick really. It's a bit dirty but that's all. So clean up these. Swap this over to that and paint this one, the outside frame black. So what I want to show you is this piece of the radiator. And as you can see, this part is all, I don't know, dull and nasty looking. Like it's, it's, yeah. So I saw a little trick that you can get it back to this and use a heat gun. Now, do this at your own uh, risk but it can actually work so you, you heat up this piece nice and slowly and suddenly you will see the, the color change so here we go Well, this is the uh, cap of the radiator, and that looks good. The rubbers are nice and uh, flexible still, so I'm not going to change that and use that again. Okay, all I need to do now is fill up with new liquid. I'm just going to make this little funnel to make it easier. I guess I'll just secure that with a tie wrap and then I can easily fill it up. All right.
Right, this one needs a tube. Put it right here. It's like a filler tube, like so. And what you do, hold it upside down, stick it through the pipe, twist it, 